And we are on the air with you at 9 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Allen. I'm Andrea Anderson. It's been about four months since the Lucky Lady Casino closed near downtown Sioux Falls. Residents living in that neighborhood had raised concerns about safety and alcohol related behavior at the time. Well, in the months since, some of those residents say they've seen some of those issues getting worse, including people spending hours at a time on the sidewalks. Parker Brown has been looking into the concerns and has our top story here at 9 o'clock. Parker. Brian and Andrea, most of the people hanging around the sidewalks in front of an apartment complex on Summit Avenue are said to be homeless and residents say that they are often drinking. Some interactions between residents and these groups have been positive and some have led to altercations. Overall, residents wish that officials could just do something about it. I should be able to go into my household and feel peace and feel that I'm going to be verbally attacked one way or the other because of somebody's being drunk or whatever the case may be. All of us have that right. This resident doesn't want to disclose their identity for fear of retaliation by those who congregate on the sidewalk, but also because they sympathize with them and didn't want to hurt their connections. At the beginning of the summer, I was real angry with them because that's what I see every day when I wake up. And I was so tired of being angry that I flipped it around and I prayed about it. We all look at the surface and we all like to pass judgment right away. They are still human. In the three years that this resident has been living there, this is the first time that this issue has popped up. While correlation cannot officially be proven, most residents say that this started to happen after Lucky Lady Casino closed down. From 6 in the morning to late at night, the number of people on the sidewalk can grow from around 4 or 5 people to close to 20 people. What concerns me the most is the well-being of the people that are in the area that I live in that have children that go to school, that go to work. One of the guys works late at night and he was jumped a few weeks ago. He had a knot on his head. The problem gets more complicated for police who can't do anything to help residents unless they catch the sidewalk goers doing something illegal. Residents say that they do drink or occasionally threaten them, but it's not often caught when it happens. Certainly the city council has the ability to change city ordinances. The state legislature has the ability to change state laws, but generally overall what we're looking at is people just gathering in a public space, and I don't know that we can prohibit people from doing that. While being on sidewalks is not a crime, Clemens did recommend that residents call the police when these groups are drinking, being loud, going onto the grass, or anything else that the police can take action on. Brian and Andrea. All right, Parker Brown, thank you.